Rap News blog, and welcome to the Movie News Roundup series. So the Movie News Roundup series is a brand new series I created where we talk about movie news that happen in both the movie industry and the TV industry, and I talk about my thoughts about each topic that's being discussed. But before we get into this, here are a few words from the channel. Hey guys, if you want to check out more content from this channel, then tune in every Sunday and Monday for new videos. And if you happen to see any videos posted up during the week, that means that there was a bit of movie and TV news that I wanted to talk about, so those will be considered special videos. And if you want to chat with me on social media or see when new videos are being released, then follow me through Twitter and Facebook. And also, please feel free to join the new Facebook group, Rabbit Ears Blocks Reviews 2.0, where we talk about movies, TV shows, and video games with other fans of the genres. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So there's been a lot of movie news going on in the last few weeks, which includes release dates and lots of movies being delayed. And I'm going to talk about it in this week's movie news roundup. So let's begin. So the first bit of news that's been released is that Mulan and Tenet are both being delayed indefinitely from theaters. The second bit of news is that Shark Boy and Lava Girl will be getting a sequel that will be released on Netflix. And the last bit of news is that these two movies are getting release dates. And that is the Sonic the Hedgehog movie sequel, which will be released on April 8, 2022, and Spider-Man 3, which will be released on December 17, 2021. So now let's get into thoughts for the day where I talk about my thoughts about each topic that was being discussed today. So let's begin. So regarding about the news about Mulan and Tenet being delayed indefinitely, I will admit that when I first heard about the news, I was like, well, why didn't they just release these movies on streaming services? I mean, I even made a tweet about it on Twitter. But then I sat down and I thought about it and I was like, you know, probably the reason why they didn't release Mulan and Tenet on streaming services or on video on demand is because these are considered big event movies. And what I mean is that these are movies that has a lot of money going into its budget. So that means that putting these movies on either streaming services or video on demand might actually cause the movies to lose a lot of money because a lot of people probably don't have streaming services or you're not going to get that big group of people you need to watch these kind of movies. So say for instance that you decide to put Mulan on Disney Plus. Well, what's going to happen is that even though you got some people who have Disney Plus, there are other people who don't have Disney Plus, and therefore they're not able to watch Mulan, and therefore Disney might lose a lot of money by putting Mulan on Disney Plus because a lot of people don't have Disney Plus to watch Mulan. And the same thing goes with Tenet. Like say they decide to put Tenet on Netflix, while Tenet might make some money back because Netflix is a big streaming service, it won't make all the money back that it made in its movie budget because again some people might not have Netflix and therefore they might not be able to watch Tenet and so the studio would lose a lot of money trying to put Tenet on Netflix or any other streaming service because again not a lot of people would have said streaming service. But if you were to put both of these movies in movie theaters, then there is a high chance that they will earn their money back because you got a bigger crowd of people coming in to watch these two movies and therefore the movie companies would make a lot of money that way. So those are my theories about why they didn't release Mulan or Tenon through the streaming services because they might lose a lot of money if they did that. And so they're trying to wait to see where the virus pandemic is going because that's the reason why these movies were delayed. I guess they're trying to see once the virus pandemic calms down, they'll see if they can release these two movies to theaters once everything settles down and movie theaters start opening up again. So the next bit of news is that Sharkboy and Lava Girl will be receiving a sequel on Netflix. And this bit of news actually surprised me. Because I never would have thought that Sharkboy and Lava Girl of all movies would actually get a sequel after all these years. Now I've actually watched Sharkboy and Lava Girl many years ago. And I will admit that I don't remember that much about that movie. Because it's been so many years since I last watched that movie. But I do remember that when I first watched the movie I was like, eh, it's not that great. But the special effects were pretty good. But I am interested in seeing the sequel, and I am interested in seeing what they're going to do with Shark Boy and Lava Girl's characters in the sequel, especially since their actors are actually full-grown adults right now. So it would be interesting to see if they can make a story about Shark Boy and Lava Girl being adults, and what kind of new adventures they would go on as adults. So if they decide to go in that direction with the sequel, like we don't have any plot details about the sequel yet, but if they decide to go in that direction, that's something that I'm really interested in seeing. So I might actually check out that movie if it does come out on Netflix whenever it does. And of course we're going to the last bit of news which I'm the most excited for and that's the release dates of both Spider-Man 3 and the Sonic the Hedgehog movie sequel. So let's talk about Spider-Man 3 first. No, not the one directed by Sam Raimi but the one that's starring Tom Holland. 
So the release date for this movie is December 17, 2021, and it was originally supposed to come out much earlier, but of course because of the coronavirus pandemic going on, they had to push back the date for Spider-Man 3, and they moved it to December 17, 2021. And because of this, a lot of people are suspecting that this movie would be Christmas-themed. Like, I'm wondering if they want to make this movie a Christmas-themed movie because it's premiering in December, and if they do that, well, this would make Spider-Man 3 the very first MCU movie to be Christmas-themed. And that would be really interesting because I don't see a lot of superhero movies that take place during the Christmas time. The only superhero movies that I know of that took place during the Christmas time was Batman Returns and Shazam. And I really enjoyed watching Shazam and I thought that was a pretty good Christmas movie for a superhero movie. So it would be interesting to see if this movie does take place during the Christmas time and whether or not we see Spider-Man fighting off these villains while celebrating the Christmas time with his family and friends. And, of course, I gotta talk about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie sequel's release date, which will be April 8th, 2022. Now, usually when it comes to release dates, I'm like, eh, whatever, I'll just start counting down the days when the movie starts coming out. But with this one, it's actually very important. So, for one thing, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie sequel will be released in April, which actually shocked me because I thought that they were going to release the movie in February like they did for this year, and we see how successful that was for the movie itself. But April seems like a pretty interesting month to release the Sonic the Hedgehog movie sequel. The only thing that can be problematic with this is that, from what I heard, is that the Fast and Furious movie will be also premiering in April, and Fast and Furious movies are very popular in Hollywood, so it's possible that Sonic will go up against some tough competition in April April if they keep the release date but I do think that releasing it in April is very interesting and I like to see where this is going and also another big thing is that it's being released in 2022 now there were some people who said that oh no this is taking too long to be released in 2022 but I actually like the fact that this movie is going to be released in 2022 for several reasons one of it is that of course it's going to give the crew more time to work on the film like try to figure out a really good story for this movie because what I'm mainly concerned about with the sequel is that I hope they write a better story for Sonic and the other characters they feature I hope we get to see more interactions between Sonic and Tails because their friendship in the games is very important and it's very iconic iconic and I hope that the movie is able to portray that friendship very well so I'm hoping that the crew has enough time to write up these characters in such a well written way and actually incorporate more video game lore into the sequel if they could so I am interested in seeing that and another reason I think that this movie coming out in 2022 is a great idea is because this would be the 30th anniversary for Sonic the Hedgehog 2 the video game so the original video game came out in 1992, so because of that, this would be the 30th anniversary for the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 video game, and that was also the video game when Tails made its debut, so having a movie or the sequel that actually portrays Tails or has Tails starring in it would be a really great way to celebrate this special occasion with Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do with Tails in the movie. So I think 2022 is the right year to showcase Sonic the Hedgehog 2 because, again, it's the 30th anniversary for Sonic the Hedgehog 2 video game. And that's it for the movie news for this week. And let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about all this movie news going on? Are you upset that Mulan and Tenet are being delayed indefinitely? Are you excited for the new Shark Boy and Lava Girl sequel coming out? And are you excited for Sonic the Hedgehog movie sequel and for Spider-Man 3? Please let me know in the comments down below. Well, hope you guys enjoy this video. This is Rabbit's Blog, and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, like this video? Then please feel free to hit that like button. And also, hit that subscribe button for more content about video games, movies, and TV shows from this channel. And now, let's roll the credits, please.